Thank you so much for watching these videos. For even more content, consider joining me over at Patreon at AdamSantone underscore PhD, where I'll be covering even deeper dives into content around data, design, and visualization. These things can help you out at work or in your daily life for other projects. So please consider joining me over there. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. We're going to get started by uh, getting you up and running with a system called Quarto, which will allow you to do seamless documents that contain code and analysis stuff, but also just text and media. And you can use it for things like reporting or web pages or books, uh, a lot of different things. So to get you started, I want you to visit a page to download R, which is a programming language, and R Studio, which is a place where you can write all of the, uh, the code to get everything together. It's an integrated development environment, or IDE. So first things first, go ahead and visit posit.co slash download slash rstudio dash desktop and grab R, install that, and then install RStudio. After you get that done, hop over to quarto.org slash docs slash download and grab the Quarto CLI or command line interface and install that. That will install Quarto for you on top of that other stuff. And then once you have that installed, we're going to jump into the RStudio IDE. So first thing you'll see, um, we have a menu at the top, we have a few buttons at the top, standard Windows interface here. And then you'll have a console, terminal, some background jobs. Don't worry about that just yet. First thing I want you to do is go to File, New Project, and then click on New Directory. This will just set up a new project for you to work in. And we're going to select Quarto Project. Give that a name. I'll just call this Test and then leave everything else uh, by default and hit click, uh, click Create Project. Once that gets set up, it'll generate the project for you and it will generate a few documents inside of the project. If you open up this side menu over here, you'll see a file called test.qmd. That is your main file that you'll be working with. QMD stands for Quarto Markdown. We'll talk more about Markdown later, but essentially that's the uh, language you can use to write the body of the document. There's also a project file, you can ignore that for now, and there's a YML uh, file that has some settings in it. You may have, uh, on your first view of this document, sort of, a, sort of a layout here with something that looks like code and some text that's formatted a little bit. That's the visual editor for this file. What I'd like you to do is click Source and bring up the source information, the background code to this document. At the top, you'll see three little dash marks, and that separates the, uh, the title of the document, so you can change that to something else. I'll just change it to my document real quick. You can make it whatever you want. And then below that, you'll see two pound signs or hashtags, and then a space, and then the word quarto. That is a header, a uh, second level header, header using Markdown. So, um, we can change that to whatever you want it to be. It just depends on the content of your document. So we'll just call this header. And then below that, you see some text, you see a link, and you'll see a, a different bubble of information here. It has three back ticks, two curly braces, and letter R. That just indicates that this section is an R code chunk. So this is actually running our programming language information. So here it's just really simple, one plus one. So we won't need any of this right now. So what I'd like for you to do is delete all of that, just keep it really simple, and then generate some content, really simple content. So we'll do a top level header with a pound sign, and then we'll just write header. And if you wanna make another one, we'll do that. And then we'll make a third header. And then below each of those, we can write some text. And again, we'll just keep it really simple. Call it text one, two, three. And that will correspond to header one, two, three. Once you have that done, go ahead and save. Make sure your documents are saved. And you'll notice nothing really happened right now. 
what you'll need to do to get this document processed is to render it. So one thing you can do is to click render on save and turn on that checkbox. And then you can click save and it will render. Or you can hit the render button itself. When you do that, you'll notice some output down here uh, under background jobs. That basically just tells you that it renders your document. And then over in the side menu, you'll notice test.html. So it carries the same name as my project files, but it also has this extension HTML indicating that it made a web page. So I'll just drag that over here. This is the output of that file that we just created. So we created a document in Quarto using the RStudio IDE, and this is the output. We have a successful completed Quarto document. So once you decide what you want these pages to contain, you're well on your way to making your own Quarto documents.